Hello everyone, and welcome back to Lumber Tycoon 2, and today we're going to be showing you guys how to get the green box. And by where, I mean me and Warren Richman. Hopefully he catches up to me wherever he is. So right now me and Warren, we were just having an argument over who takes credit over what our ideas are. And he was like, I'm going to sue you. <laughs> you have to give me credit. And I'm like, I am giving you credit. I'm giving you complete credit. And then he was like talking about bringing lawyers. I'm like, you're gonna waste your time on lawyers. Yeah, also warm rich man. He can't spell. But let's, let's pray for warm rich man. So all you really need is the silver axe, any any cheap axe, because there's a chance you could lose it. So the first thing you have to do is go up the volcano. I think going up the volcano is going to be the easiest part. Okay, so I'm going to drive us down the volcano. You don't have to drive down the volcano. You just got to jump down. But <clears throat> what does one rich man want? Okay, so we're back. We just dealt with the problem that we had really quick. So once you go down, there's going to be this little edge, and then you're going to want to go through it doing the wall glitch. So you zoom in, and you zoom out, and then you turn your camera around, and then you zoom in. But you might do it a few times. Sometimes it can be a little complicated, but I think it's pretty easy. Okay, so one rich man got in. And then now it's my turn, so I'll show you guys really quick. Zoom in all the way, and then wait, you gotta make sure that you're right there exactly. And then you're gonna zoom out all the way, and then you're gonna zoom in, and just takes you straight through the wall. Okay, so I'm back, and now we found some trees in here, and then we're gonna use these trees as some flying, like a flying board, okay. I'll show you guys what I mean right now. You can get two pieces, and two logs, or two sticks, whatever you want to call them, and make sure that at least you can stand on it. Don't don't make it too long. So he's gonna stand on one, and I'm gonna stand on one. I'm gonna make them similar sizes. That way they don't glitch out when we do what we're about to do right now. So it's pretty simple. I mean, we fell up a few times, and there he goes. There he goes again, lagging. Warm rich man likes all the time. And hopefully I look forward to make more videos of him. Okay, so we're going to be going up there. Where I just showed you guys. So, I'm going to lift him up. And then he's going to grab mine. Why isn't he grabbing mine? Oh, I forgot. That's a white list too. Okay, so let me just white list him really quick. And... For the last amount of lag possible, we just did this on um, a private server because also if we're not sure that, um, um, how do I explain this? What, if we're not sure that the green box is here because the green box does appear sometimes a few minutes after someone gets it, oh, we fail. It's fine. You might fail a few times if you're new to this, but all you have to do is whitelist your friend, and then you do this. You cut two pieces of wood. One friend and stands on one piece, you stand on another piece, you lift his, and then he lifts yours. That's easy. Your friend lifts your log, and they lift yours. That's it. So I'm clicking escape because if you click escape while you're holding on to something, and then you um, click hit escape again, then you're just automatically holding on to it, and then you pretty much don't have to do anything. But the only thing that's controlling the movement of your wood is your mouse, so be careful on that part. So I'm just automatically lifting them up. Normally, if you just do what I did with the whole escape or go to the menu really quick, that way it gets saved, then you won't fall. Okay, so we made it up here, and we both brought the pieces of wood. It's not hard to bring it up. You just have to make sure that you're holding it as soon as you guys jump. You guys still jump at the same time, so that, mean, that, that might be kind of hard, but at least you have a few seconds because the glitch like kind of lets the wood fly by itself for a few seconds. Okay, so thank goodness you brought both pieces. I 
I don't really know what he means by being both pieces for Halloween. Oh, like, as in, like, a Halloween costume or something? Terrible joke. Terrible joke, Worm. You said being both pieces. Oh, God. He's always a little grammar Nazi, isn't he? Okay, so right over here, you gotta be careful because you're gonna stand in the middle and you're gonna start getting fire damage, pretty much. Is what I call it. So Worm is gonna go for it. Or should I? Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it since I'm running out of time anyway. Okay, yep, we both made it, and then you just walk over here. And you walk right over here, and then there's gonna be, it's gonna be dark over here, but you won't be able to see it. I don't know why he got confused, but over here in the corner right here, boom, you can either walk into the lava or walk into the green box. We finally got it, and it was very quick. Pretty simple, too. Yeah, but well the thing is, um, the fire damage does kill you now, that you can't just stay in there and not be harmed. I don't know why that is, I guess that you just have to grab it quickly. But yeah, so we ended up dying, and I ended up losing my silver axe, so... When it comes to bringing the axe, just make sure that you'll be able to cut down the trees. You can buy a cheap one if you want, but I just bought the silver axe to make it quick. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching this video, this is, this is how to get the green box. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have an amazing day. Bye.